15 Best Things to Do in Honolulu Honolulu is a city of rolling waves and seaside bar shacks reflecting Hawaii's cultural kingpin as a whole. Here, the likes of Elvis and Doris Duke rested, following the traditions of the Hawaiian kings and the queens themselves. And what a place to rest! Waikiki Sands mix vibrant drinking dives and laid-back beach vibes, while on the horizon the rugged peaks of volcanoes and extinct craters rise. Here are 15 best things to do in Honolulu. Number 15. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is a U.S. naval base that was the scene of a devastating surprise attack by Japanese forces in 1941. Today, the USS Arizona Visitor Center, the most visited memorial in Hawaii, juts its way out into the waters of Pearl Harbor on Honolulu's northeastern fringes. Straddling the sunken wreckage of its eponymous frigate ship, the museum can only be accessed by boat, offering travelers an insight into the destruction wrought on the American naval fleet by the Japanese attacks of December 1941. Inside, there are three separate sections of the exhibition and memorial space. One area, the assembly room, offers bird's eye views over the submerged deck, while the site's shrine part contains both the dead and the survivors a sobering and thoughtful memorial. Number 14. Shangri-La. The Shangri-La Mansion is a modern twist on the arabesque in the shadow of the iconic diamond head of Honolulu. With such an introduction, you can see why so many travelers make this curious construction a beeline, built at the behest of the moneyed American philanthropist and heiress Doris Duke. Inside, the architectural features fuse Iran and Egypt's styles, drawing inspiration from Isfahan's carved domes and calligraphy and the babbling waterways common in Pakistan and India's Mughal Gardens. Then there are the rich art collections to see, all collected over the later life of Duke, complete with countless treasures of the Islamic world. Number 13. National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. Sitting at the bottom of the Punchbowl Crater standing above Honolulu's busy downtown northeast side, the Pacific National Memorial Cemetery enjoys its own little enclave of calm and quiet in the capital. The site actually attracts millions of visitors per year, green, and well-kempt. We come to pay tribute to all those who fought and died in the Pacific Theater, participating in wars between the World War I and the Korean War and Vietnam. This is also the site of the Honolulu Memorial, which displays the names of all the soldiers missing in action during some of America's bloodiest commitments, topped by a monument to Lady Liberty and words by Abraham Lincoln, the former president. Number 12. USS Bofin Submarine Museum. Offering just a glimpse of what life was like for U.S. seamen during the conflict years between 1942 and 1945 and the days of the Korean War, when the USS Bofin was recommissioned to bulk up the Allied naval fleet, this immersive piece of museum in the waters of Pearl Harbor is certainly not to be missed. With the help of a recorded audio guide, visitors can walk through the mess rooms and corridors, onboard living rooms and control rooms. One of the collection's most fascinating sections includes a marine weapons medley, complete with an example of an infamous Japanese manned chitin torpedo. There is also a sobering memorial to all the U.S. submariners lost during the Second World War. Number 11. Coco Crater Trail. The Coco Crater's trailheads start on the city's southern fringes, weaving their way up the volcanic foothills of the Kolau Mountains and over the beautiful Hanauma Bay waters. Rising up against Port Locks streets, this nature reserve is home to spiked cactus and sun-baked paths, giving walkers a glimpse of the Aloha State's rugged backcountry. The trail itself follows the unused train tracks climbing the ridges here, weaving in the distance between the scrublands and rocks before opening up to 360-degree views of the southeastern coast of Oahu and even the sheer-cut cliffs of Molokai Island. Number 10. Honolulu Beer Works. Bringing the various communities of the island together with hops and barley creations, the Honolulu Beer Works is the Aloha State's leading microbrewery. Housed in a revitalized industrial depot, between the streets of Kaka Akeo's elegant and edgy neighborhood, the tasting room combines the salt-washed character of Hawaii's surfer shacks with a cool and distinct artsy vibe. The beers range from the Animal Farmhouse, with its pale coloring and spicy delta hops, to the beer of the Pia Mahiei farmer, which comes with traces of allspice and pepper. There is also a great menu of food, which attracts diners with salmon-packed taro buns from the Pacific and hoagies in Italian style. Number 9. Battleship Missouri. 
A delegation of Japanese politicians and generals led by Foreign Minister Mamoru Shigemitsu stepped on board the USS Missouri on September 2, 1945. They came to sign the official surrender documents to end World War II. And that's just one of the historical totemic moments that an ocean frigate's hulking colossus has seen at sea throughout its illustrious days. It's also waged from the Pacific theater to the Middle East in three global conflicts. Travelers can join one of the mighty ship's regular tours today, while youth groups also have the opportunity to spend a night in the onboard military berths, just like a real American sailor. Number 8. Diamond Head State Monument. Looming in sinewy, volcanic ridges high above downtown and busy central Honolulu coastal stripes, the Diamond Head State Monument is one of the most iconic sites on the skyline of the capital of the Aloha State. It is thought that this recognizable landmark formed when 200,000 years ago a large cinder cone on the edge of the Kolau mountain range burst, spewing magma and rocking out to create today's rugged ridges and craters. Many hikers wax up the walking boots and make their way along the edge of Diamond Head for the maintained trail. This goes for a mile or so, passes through tunnels and escalators, all before offering sweeping views of the Pacific Ocean and the city. Number 7. Shark Dive. Shark diving should be close to the top of the list of things to do in Honolulu for sure for the bravest travelers making their way to the hub of the Aloha State. Trips typically take intrepid groups into the roaring swells off the northern coast, where there are more common sightings of the formidable predators. A sturdy steel cage is lowered into the water, allowing everything from grey reef sharks to hammerheads, Galapagos sharks, and sandbar sharks prowling the waters to be seen. Other sites include rare green sea turtles, exotic marine flora oodles and even gigantic humpback whales, if you're lucky. Number 6. Iolani Palace. The revered Kalakaua dynasty's ancestral home is nestled in the middle of downtown Honolulu. This 19th-century palace oozes a francophone, italian -it charm from each of its terraces, contrasting with the modern buildings all around, and Baroque classic nooks and crannies. It was built by the monarch David Kalakaua, who traveled in search of inspiration for his grand project in Europe, Asia, and Africa. The palace was later the spot where American troops first raised the stars and stripes to signal the annexation of Hawaii to the U.S. Number 5. Chinatown. Sandwiched between Kaliki Palama's downtown and suburban communities, Honolulu's Chinatown is one of America's largest and most authentic Asian districts. It pulses with life in places such as the Mauna Kea Marketplace, marked by its red-painted clock tower with overhanging shan gables, and bursts with smells and sights in the midst of the endless stacks of tropical fruits and delicious meats that coalesce around Oahu Market. There are also beautiful temples, such as Izumo Taishakyo's Japanese Shinto Shrine, or dragon-topped Kuan Yin, not to mention the enticing eateries, peking duck menus, aromatic stir-fries, and ancient aged eggs. Number 4. Beach Hopping. Once you're done with the surfboards and wakeboards on Waikiki's must-see sands, have your fill of Chinatown's soy-packed delicacies and dive into World War II history at the Pearl Harbor Memorial, Honolulu's wealth of stunning beaches. These string their way along the edge of the island at spots such as Ava District in the east and beautiful Lanikai in the west, where the shore waters lap slightly against the sand thanks to an out at sea reef. If you're willing to travel further, check out Sunset Park's famous surf strips and the other North Coves, where beachcombing and wave watching are at their best during the summer. Number 3. Surfing. No trip to the fun loving, surf mad capital of Hawaii could possibly be complete without mentioning at least this most popular local pastimes. In fact, Oahu Island's southern coastal stretches are home to countless surf spots, many of which are known throughout the globe. Take Ala Moana's Crashing Bowls and its adjacent beach park, where reefs and sandbars are perfect for cooking barrels. Then there's Waikiki, a great spot for the beginner wave riders, counteracted by all the roaring breaks further afield on the north shore, from sunset beaches colossal swells to the bonsai pipeline's unforgiving tubes. Number 2. Waikiki Beach. It is not shocking that the world-famous Waikiki Beach once attracted the Hawaiian archipelago's kings and queens to its beaches. 
In fact, it was here, where today the shimmering rises of luxurious hotels are rising against the turquoise waters of the Pacific, that the first longboards were ridden back in the 1800s by the nobles of the islands, while the legendary surfer Duke Kahanamoku also shredded Waikiki's swells, and now even has his own memorial between the palm tree groves. Simply put, if you choose to visit only one beach in Honolulu, make it a sun-kissed arch of powdery yellow sand in the Diamond Head's shadow. Number 1. Hanauma Bay. From the downtown streets of Honolulu, you can easily reach this protected bay that sits in the shadow of the Great Kulau Mountain Range on the southern tip of Oahu Island. Sparkling with turquoise shades and flourishing underwater coral gardens, Hawaiian nature's preserved little enclave is peppered with the occasional coconut palm and cut by the Kalaniana Old Highway. That brings in the high season booming crowds of over 3,000 people a day, all eager to snorkel and swim in the shallows. Built in the depths of an ancient volcanic crater, the shores of the spot are renowned for their marine biodiversity, with everything from sea turtles to parrotfish and more gliding. With so many things to do and amazing places to go, Honolulu is one of the best cities to visit for travelers from any country. Enjoy your visit to Honolulu and don't forget to subscribe today for more interesting things to do.